welcome so I thought I could do my evening skincare routine um I don't know why I just felt like it so yeah um if you want to know my how I take my makeup off and my evening skincare in depth um everything will be linked below as well and yeah please keep on watching it's time to take the makeup off best time okay so i start off by taking my eyelashes off and then making my way to the bathroom to cleanse my face Can we all promise not to say anything about the difference because obviously I faked tan today but not my face so forgive me okay right I've just cleansed so my face is looking a bit red in some areas but overall look at my bruises here I tried this blackhead suction if anyone wants a review let me know i literally found like the cheapest one off amazon and it's bruised me so that's nice um i ate some carmex okay so um if i'm I don't do this every day and I know you should but if I've worn makeup quite a bit this week or something like that I do like to double cleanse a couple of times um where are my cleansers so I like to use firstly the um Liz Earl cleanse and polish this is so good this cleanser like I literally can't fault it um it's a hot cloth it's got the a little I can't speak it is the cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser naturally active ingredients and um, you gently massage one or two pumps over dry skin um, and then rinse it after with hot water um, and then afterwards I do like to use this oil based cleanser from revolution um, the stressed one it says mood stressed and it helps melt away that stressful day calming cleansing oil i'd really like this one as well they're very different textures this is like an oil that is like um mousse sort of um but yeah i think they both work really well and a few cleansers haven't agreed with my face and make me break out like the clinique take the day off balm and um, but these two are really really good and i think I got this one uh, at John Lewis and they keep doing offers at the minute where it's only £13 and I think this one is probably about £10 off um, Makeup Revolution's website or um, Beauty Bay. So yeah, I'd highly recommend both them cleansers. Um, let's get on to other skincare now. Okay, after I've cleansed, I will tone my face with the Instant Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer. This is so, so good. I don't even know if you managed to shake it before you use. I don't know. But it's the in Instant Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer from Liz Earl. 
revitalize soothes and tones for radiant looking skin highly highly recommend um i got this off john lewis as well with the other one and both of them were under 30 pounds so that's quite good they always have offers on it just makes your skin look so healthy um i want to try other toners though i've not really like delved into the toner world but that is the one for me right now um and then i go in with serum so i use the niacinamide i think that's how you pronounce it from the ordinary um it says apply to the entire face morning and evening before heavier creams this hasn't irritated my skin once as well and i have quite sensitive skin but i literally typed into google months ago um like how to reduce blackheads and this is one of the things that came up so that's why i'm using it i've used quite a lot all the way down to there and i feel like i have seen quite a difference i mean after i used that um suction on my face it did bring some spots to the surface um but i don't know if that's a good thing like bringing them out um so they go quicker or what but my skin, other than that, has been quite good recently. So I put a few drops. Just, I don't know if you want to pat it or what. I spread it everywhere until it feels like sticky. So yeah, um, highly recommend. I feel like this is something I will repurchase. Um, not necessarily just from the ordinary anything with this product in i'm pretty sure um makeup revolution have come out of a whole skincare range with um niacinamide in if i'm pronouncing that wrong i'm really sorry but yeah and then um i like to do eye cream next i don't know if that's the correct order um but i use this i don't know why i took the lid off before i showed um revolution skincare pigment boost pigmentation intense color correcting eye cream um this is a really small part um i think it's around eight pound and oh it's vegan and cruelty free as well and fragrance free for people who have sensitive skin like me um it's so small but you really don't need that much like i have used this for quite a while now and sometimes my eyes are okay but at the minute i've been finding it really hard to sleep so my eyes aren't they're not doing the best but i mean they've been worse than this i like get a bit out of with my nail <laughs> they're long enough and i put it when i went i used to use the keels creamy eye like avocado one which i should probably purchase again but for right now i'm using the cheaper and then the man always told me to put it there and like warm it up between your fingers before putting it on your eyes i don't know why but someone at keels said it so i feel like that's what you have to do and then i sort of um pat it in and sort of rub it across oh god i love my nose next i use this um saya Plus gel b5 this is from la roche posay and um this gets rid of old scarring from spots um and i think i've seen like a, a quite a big difference um using this you can use this in the morning and in the evening i think the um packaging has changed though um since i bought this i did buy this um this year in a when we're in lockdown i wanted to look after my skin um but yeah, put it everywhere because I have a lot of old scarring. I feel like it has really helped though. God, skin goes so red when everything goes on it. Um, but yeah next there are three different things um that i go between so i don't like to use them all at once um at night time but i don't know i feel like too much skincare is just too much and it makes my skin freak out but i go between these three next so 
I leave you use vitamin C. Um, this is from the Inky List, and I bought the one from the Ordinary, and my skin freaked out. It burns, burns. So I literally had to find one for. I think this was like five pounds, and it said that it was for sensitive skin, and this works a treat. Um, I like to use it in the morning if I'm not putting makeup on. Um, and yeah it just says am or pm um and it works well with hy hyaluronic acid um which i ran out of i really need to get some more but yeah i'll either use this it's a weird consistency and it feels really weird spread <laughs> it feels really weird spreading it out on the skin but i would highly recommend it and it's fall on the floor but yeah i'd highly recommend it i feel like this is really really good for the skin and then next i like i don't i probably use this once every two weeks i should probably use it more um but it's organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil from the ordinary and the only reason i don't use this a lot because i can't open it i have to get someone else to open it it's like it's in well, this is going to get rid of um, texture, I'm pretty sure, texture, like old scarring, like everything, this is going to sort out. And it smells a bit weird, like, I mean, it's, it's rose hip seed oil, it just, it smells a bit weird. But this is so good, like drenching it all over your face before bed. Um, so yeah, I'd highly, highly recommend that. Um, I feel like this um and a lot of the ordinary things are always out of stock though which is so annoying okay then what i'm going to use tonight is lactic acid from the ordinary and this is meant to be a chemical exfoliant can i open this one yeah i've used quite a bit of that as well and i find this actually does work like some i read online that apparently a chemical one is better than like a one that's like gritty um with bits in <laughs> don't know what the bits are um these are going to be better apparently so yeah i like to use this um i don't know how you're going to do it either i just rub it in the skin it says apply once per day ideally in the pm you can dilute it with other things if it irritates your skin um this hasn't irritated my skin though My face is so red but once it calms down it's literally just glowing already looking glowy I don't like to put too much of that on it does give a slight burn to the skin but nothing that you won't be able to handle um yeah so after I've done all that it's time to moisturize and I like to use the I didn't have it with me, I'm sorry. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask, and it's dirty, I'm really sorry. Um, but apparently this is allergy tested, 100% fragrance free. Oh, it's just so moisturizing at night. I like to put this on my face and neck. <laughs> what a funny noise. I like to use the ordinary one in the day. Um, but for night time, I mean, treat yourself. Oh, I've just faked on my neck. Why have I just put moisturiser all down it? Right, we'll just moisturise the face today. Honestly, when I was cleansing my face before, I was like just wiping all my tan away and I was like, ugh, why did I not just tan later? Making it difficult for myself. Drenching this. Okay, so I like to use Revolution skincare sprays. Where's the lid for this? We, well, that's a secret. I'll never tell. Um, this is glycolic acid, and this is super fruit. I don't really know what these do, um, but I like to put a spray on after I've done my skincare because, like, with makeup, you set and you spray it all in. I feel like you should do the same with your skincare. 
um these were quite good i think they're priced at like six pounds each please don't hold me to that which i think is really good i've got mine off asos um i love that asos do that not just clothes um but yeah this is with blueberry extract and it's a replenishing face spray and oh, they just lock it all in and make your skin glow like i mean i'm already glowing right now but this and this one i i i'm using this one because i've lost the lid but i have used quite a bit of that one if you can see Okay, that was my evening skincare routine. This will probably be quite a short video, um, but I'm not gonna lie. If I use makeup wipes, which I'm not, I do not cleanse every day. Sometimes I can't be bothered, and that is facts. Um, but I do like to use simple makeup wipes. I've heard mixed reviews. I'm allergic to a word I can't pronounce. <laughs> it's very long, beginning with M. And it's in quite a lot of makeup wipes, but these are really, really like gentle on my skin. Um, they're, I don't know what it says. No artificial perfume or color, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin, no alcohol, um, stuff like that. And they're for sensitive skin. But a few of my friends have said that these don't work on their skin, but I do like to use these ones in particular. I don't really buy any other ones. I used to get like home bargains do some, but I'm allergic to them, which is annoying. But yeah, I do buy these from home bargains though, um, or Morrison's, whatever. Um, yeah, in two packs. But sometimes I'll use um, makeup wipes to take makeup off if I want to take makeup off like earlier, and then at night time I'll cleanse later on. But instead of double cleansing, but. I don't think there's anything wrong with just having you, like, especially on a night out. Like, if I've come in, I've had a bit too much to drink. I'm using these. Oh, nothing. <laughs> but I'm using these because I'm not cleansing my face, especially twice. Um, but, yeah, I hope somebody enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I've not forgot anything. Um, at night time, sometimes I do like to use Olaplex. I'm just going to get that for you now. I like to use Olaplex number no. 6 Bond Smoother. Sometimes I'll put this all over my hair. Well, mid to um, mid to long. mid <laughs> From midway all the way down. Um, I like to use this probably once a week or once every two weeks, depending on how my hair is feeling. Um, so I'd, I'd sort of add that. It's not skincare, but it's the only hair care I really do, if I'm going to be honest. But yeah, I hope somebody enjoyed this video. If you didn't, that's awkward. But if you did, please tell me what other videos you want. If they are skincare related, you can let me know. Um, oh, this headband is from Primark and I use it everywhere. My eyebrows need to be dyed. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I have a video out straight after this one. <laughs>